Microtransactions? Nope. NFTs? Nope. Loot boxes? Nope. Free downloadable content? Yes. Thank f- Hi guys, thank you very much for clicking on the video. So today we're going to have a quick look at a game that wants to get away from all the paid DLC and microtransaction bullshit. That game is called Operation Harsh Doorstop. So, what is it? So, taken from the website, Operation Harsh Doorstop is a free community project devoid of microtransactions, paid downloadable content, or loot box mechanics. Deploy to Eastern Afghanistan into a fictionalized conflict between Soviet and NATO forces during the summer of 1991. Experience large-scale tactical warfare in Operation Harsh Doorstop. Communicate with your team and emerge victorious in this brutally realistic, competitive multiplayer title. Utilize a wide variety of weapons and equipment to achieve dynamically changing objectives. Operation Harsh Doorstop is a love letter to the tactical gaming genre, built by a passionate community of developers and gamers alike. So this game is made by Drakeling Labs, who if you didn't know, is the development team ran by a YouTuber called Blue Drake 42 I will link his channel in the description for you. Go check him out as you will find a ton more info over there. This game is also being published by Micropose. Now, you may have heard of them from a fairly recent game they are publishing called Ground Branch, which is actually a decent game that's coming on in leaps and bounds. So what is Operation Harsh Doorstop? Aside from having a title that's as catchy as Space Flu, Operation Harsh Doorstop will be a free-to-play, realistic tactical shooter with large-scale engagements and full community modding support. Now it states that when released, the main focus is on the war in Afghanistan in 1991 between Soviet and NATO forces. Additional operations, however, will be released in future updates and will include World War II, the Gulf War, and new fictional conflicts occurring from the past through to modern day and future settings. Teamwork-based objectives will be implemented in the game to promote working together in an attempt to stop everyone going full Rambo. It seems ambitious, but as they welcome modders to the game, this could be achieved if managed correctly. The game is using Unreal Engine 4, which is a fantastic game engine, and the team behind the game is releasing the full mod kit in addition to World War 1, World War 2, Vietnam and Modern Warfare assets available from the get-go. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this one pans out. If this looks like something that tickles your fancy, then go check it out on the game's page on Steam and add it to your wish list. There is apparently a demo for this game set to release on the 30th of March. If you would like to see me die a lot in it, then please let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you very much for clicking on the video. Remember to subscribe for more from me. I've been Break. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.